certified most accurate. Now your TV5 first alert forecast. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Matthew Mondro with your Wednesday morning update. And going into today, we are still tracking some more warmth and humidity. These have been uh, some of the constants in the forecast since the early parts of the week. Uh, for today, thinking this actually could end up being the hottest day of the week. We see a lot of our highs into the upper 80s, right around 89 degrees. If anybody does hit 90, there's some potential for that around Clare or Mount Pleasant, even into Shepherd. Gladwin, I think that's a possibility too. Either way, it is going to be pretty hot, and especially during the afternoon during peak heating, our heat index values topping out at around 93 or 94 degrees. So you can see quite hot as we go into the afternoon. If you happen to work outside, especially this will definitely be a day to maybe bring some extra water to work with you and make sure you're just finding ways to stay cool and especially stay hydrated. Now we've had some patchy fog this morning. The fog has mostly been unaffecting our roadways, so that is still the good news here, even though the fog has been a little bit heavier at times, but we haven't seen any major delays so far this morning as we head towards the afternoon with that mostly sunny sky, which also burns off the fog from the morning, we will eventually see some pop up showers starting uh, first up north around Rose City and West Branch. That'll migrate south through Standish, Omer, and Whittemore by around 3 to 4 o'clock. And then around dinner time, moving across the Saginaw Bay and into the northern and western parts of the Thumb. Even here in Midland Bay City and Saginaw, we could be just clipped by some of these showers too, but they will eventually start to fade away as they head farther south towards Otisville and North Branch, for example, uh, later on into the evening. We're mostly clear for the overnight. We will wake up to some more fog as we go into tomorrow morning, but then once we go into Thursday and Friday, we're still tracking that low pressure system, which continues to want to steer a little bit farther south. So the, the majority of the rain looks like it may end up missing us here in mid Michigan. I do still think we'll see some scattered showers in mid Michigan, especially later on Thursday and over into your Friday morning. But as of this point, the rain just doesn't look to be as widespread as what we were seeing earlier this week. So again, I still wouldn't say completely dry for Thursday and Friday, but it just doesn't look to be as widespread or long lasting is what we saw even just a couple of days ago. Severe weather risk is pretty low over the next couple of days too, so that is the good news. A marginal risk just clipping Perry for tomorrow. If that system continues to steer further south, then we would see that severe weather risk also going further south as well. Uh, for today, severe weather also looks unlikely, but some of those storms around the Saginaw Bay could have some hail with them, potentially briefly some severe hail too, so at least something to first alert you to uh, for today. First alert 7-day forecast is pretty quiet, at least over the uh, early parts of the weekend. Saturday only sees a stray shower, still pretty hot there too, but then a cold front on Sunday, which brings some scattered showers then, will bring some temperature relief early next week. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.